Okay. Good morning, church. My name is Kezia Kamraj, and today I'm here to share a little bit about how God has worked in my life. I grew up in a Christian family that surrounded me with godly teachings. From the shows I watched as a kid to our evening prayer times, I learned early on about God's amazing love for me. Though I was dedicated in Peniel, till the age of six, I grew up in a strong Christian community of the Delhi Bible Fellowship and the school I attended there, which encouraged me to memorize scripture from a very young age. When I came back to Peniel, um, I, learned, I, spent, I enjoyed spending time learning about God from the fun skits, songs, and memory verse challenges. So it was in these days that the Sunday school and VBS played an in influential role to start my walk with Jesus. Now, as I grew up and moved away from the sheltered, warm world of Wellar, I encountered new problems, like friendships and studying in an international school that caused me to struggle as I found it hard to navigate my way. So I tried to look for solutions, often relying on myself to come up with ways to solve these issues. This became very tiring, and I often ended up giving up and falling into moments of despair and hopeful hopelessness. But it was in one of these moments that I experienced God's presence firsthand. And I heard a little voice saying, I wasn't alone. For me, since I was little, I always believed that Jesus was the only true savior and always knew he was there. But when it came to my life and my problems, telling God was somehow the last thing on my mind. I didn't think that Jesus would actually care about my silly small troubles. But at that point in the darkness of that night, when I heard that he was there for me and cared about me, it felt like a burden was taken off me. But as I was reminded of all my mistakes and how I kept falling, I felt so unworthy and didn't think that God could accept me as I was. I felt that I needed to fix myself and become more clean to be worthy to, be, to belong to his kingdom. But God taught me that it was only through him that I could be cleansed and forgiven. After that point, I slowly started to rely less on myself and more on Jesus and remember that I can always turn to him in whatever situation. So even though moving away from Wellar came with many challenges, it was also what made me grow with my walk in Jesus and allowed me to see all his amazing work in my life. I would like to thank uh, all the friends of the church, my family, Tom Tata and Nalini Pati especially, as they guided me in this decision of faith. I also would like to church thank my church in Nepal, the Saranstan family, for remembering and praying for me. Thank you.